Well, hello there. Today we are going to do something that's a little different. Instead of anti-aging, we're going to age me 30 years. <laughs> so come along on the ride. Vivi Tran is the Hollywood makeup artist that's going to be working on me, and you're going to get to see all of these crazy tricks. This is test makeup for a film, and they're trying to determine if they need to hire one actress or two actresses uh, to have this 30-year age range. So the first thing that we did was basic beauty makeup to show the character in the young, well, 43 years old age. So we just did really, really basic beauty makeup to start. Sort of a no makeup look. Loved this blush. I love it when makeup artists do my makeup because they do things that I can never possibly do, like applying mascara so delicately that it doesn't look like that mascara is on. I could never possibly put my mascara on like this, but I love the effect that it gives. So this is my 43-year-old no makeup look. They wanted to have a wig so that we could have a stronger differentiation between the two. And because I'm a total dork, I thought I'd take you on a little tour of the soundstage where we were shooting. Because it's kind of fun to walk around sets that look like you're really someplace, but you're not. Here is an interrogation room that's right off of the hospital hallway. And then you have a pretend hospital room. Of course, nothing's lit up properly because we were not shooting on those stages. And then here is your friendly neighborhood bar. You can tell because they put a sign over it that says bar, because you might not figure that out otherwise. <laughs> And stepping out of the bar, we go into the workroom. And let's take a peek at exactly what they're shooting. Because I don't get to see it on here. Oh, okay, yeah, just, just it. There just, we go, perfect. <laughs> so this is the moment kind mm -hmm. of after. Mm -hmm. So I love the, like, slow reveal. Yeah. Uh -huh. And then with her left hand first, right hand second. Because she, she has to sit down. Boom. So that's what we're recreating in this show. Okay. And we're taking a beat here to do it again to see the kind of VFX of the break. Because so, so we're actually going to see the glass break, so okay. we want to see what that looks like. Because right. so she's punching blind. Right. Um, but that, that would be the filmmakers are trying to determine if they will hire an older actress to show the character older or if they will simply age me. This is Sarah, who was the older actress. Okay. So the method that we're going to be using is called stretch and stipple, um, old age stretch and stipple. It's a liquid latex based material where we will stipple over your skin as I'm holding it taut. And once it dries, I'm probably going to use a blow dryer to speed up the process. 
once it dries, I can powder it and then release the skin and it kind of snaps back into place, but it has the folds and the wrinkles in the skin. How creepy. Yeah, it's a little creepy. Yeah, so this is like exactly what you don't ever want to do with your face. <laughs> this is going to be the most frightening thing ever. <laughs> you normally don't want to stretch out your skin. No. <laughs> This is not going to be a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to do old age makeup, simply showing you a bit of the process. It does take an hour and a half. First thing she does is using an alcohol-based paint, I guess you'd call it. It's I'm not sure what the proper term for this sort of makeup is, but she paints on and exaggerates all of the lines and wrinkles and oh yes that makes you feel super pretty Phoebe spent about 20 25 minutes exaggerating every line and wrinkle that I have yeah not a pleasant experience to go through you really don't like looking in the mirror when you go through makeup like this Look, Ma, no Botox. That's the little freckles. Sun damage. Sun damage. You're applying no sun, sun damage, damage. Anywhere. Sun damage. anywhere. So okay. I have plenty, but thank you. Yeah, mm -hmm. you one, two, three. You can breathe, you're good to breathe. I, <laughs> <laughs> Breathing is okay. Everybody holds their breath. I just held up my breath because it was so cool. I was like, I don't wanna get distracted with this, it's the sun dam and she's <laughs> It's pretty awesome. Oh, it's so cool. It's almost like you're painting now. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Mm -hmm. It feels more like that than traditional makeup application. Yeah. It really is. It's, it is just like painting. With beauty makeup, you're trying to make the skin look completely even. With this, you're trying to undo it. Yeah, undo all of it. Well, and sometimes that's hard great to do. Even I skin. So it's like, I have to figure out how to make sorry. it look real. <laughs> we gave you a really difficult canvas. I know. Like, all this BTS we're getting. I know. <laughs> I love it. I don't often get to see all the BTS. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm going to start stretching your skin. Working in sections about one inch at a time, Vivi would stretch my skin and stipple or tap the old age makeup on top of the lines that she painted. And then she would hit it with the blow dryer and then powder it and then move on to the next.
difficult to keep smiling like this forever. Okay, and relax. I wouldn't even call it a smile, it's just stretched <laughs> lips. Okay. Vivi did an amazing job on the makeup. I was absolutely horrified every time I looked in the mirror. <laughs> we did some lighting tests as well to just adjust the lights in slightly different ways to see how they want the look of the film to be. I don't think I will be in this film. I am 10 years too old to play the character at her main age but perhaps the filmmakers will allow me to audition. We'll see. Either way, it was super fun. Well, it took an hour and a half to do the age makeup, and now we're gonna go through the wonderful process of removing it, which, how long does it usually take to remove? Um, anywhere between 30 to 45 to remove it. 30 to 45 minutes to remove the makeup. Yay! <laughs> we needed a very hot washcloth and a cream oh, cleanser and slow, gentle movements to remove it. Oh there's my skin. There it is. And there's that ugly, icky stuff that we're peeling off of it. <laughs> Does it feel weird taking it off this soon after putting it on? Not at all. Good. Yeah. Not at all. There have been times where we've done like a crazy makeup for like two hours, three hours, and it only gets like 15 minutes, if that, maybe 10 minutes of shooting time and then yeah. moving on to the next. It's so anticlimactic. I know. Like, it's like all oh. this work and then it's like 10 minutes and you're like, done, take it off. Yeah. It's like, all right, she's wrapped. Okay. And it's not like when, when somebody spent two hours doing really amazing beauty makeup and it's like no we're not taking this off yeah you know i just want to get this on your eye thank you mm -hmm. yeah you don't want to pull that that is holding firm not something you want to pick at. And I don't know about you, but I am sure ready to start looking pretty again. So we'll get back to some beauty makeup on my next videos. Love you bunches. Please subscribe to my videos if you haven't already. Drop your comments down below. Has this inspired you to perhaps try old age makeup for Halloween? Could you use this for a Wicked Witch costume? Or is this just a complete waste of your time? <laughs> <laughs> Either way, I had fun doing it. I hope you had fun watching it, and I will talk to you very soon.